Welcome to this week's version of the Tom Green Week 8 NFL Special. Looks like we're missing somebody. Well, unfortunately Cole couldn't join us this week, nor could he join us last week, and since my work, my school and work schedule is just so ugh, this, this time last week, I was unable to do a show. But this week, we're going to do a show with just me, myself, and I, and couple of my friends here. So, before we get things started, let's go to the Thursday night game. Tonight, Denver plays San Diego in what should be a great matchup. Um, San Diego was the only team to beat Denver in Denver last year. And they almost did it twice, if you remember watching the wild or the divisional game last year in the playoffs. And that's when everybody knew about Omaha! Omaha said hi! But this time, San Diego will come focused, but there's a thing called Peyton Manning that they're facing. Denver 31, San Diego 28. And now, the moment all Lions fans have been waiting for, or at least some of them. Ladies and gentlemen, the Lions are playing in London. That was God Save the Queen. I've been, I've been waiting for this game since it first came out that it was going to be a 9.30 a.m. game. First game in London that has been played that early, it would be a 2.30 2 p.m. start London time. Uh... Atlanta has looked terrible the past couple of weeks. They've been slipping. Detroit has looked stronger. A 5-2 and two start looks better this year than it did last. Let's say that. <laughs> last year they had to come back against the Cowboys to make them 5-3, and three, I believe, before the bye week. But this time they're a lot stronger team, I think. As for this game, well... Detroit means business, and so does Atlanta. But defense wins. Detroit 24, Atlanta 14. Carolina against Seattle. A battle of two what should be defensive teams may turn out to be a shootout. <laughs> As both teams last week were humiliated by Green Bay and St. Louis. This should be a good after matchup from the Detroit game. I'm going with the upset in this one. Carolina 17, Seattle 10. Uh, Cincinnati and Baltimore. Once again, like I told Cole two weeks ago. Four-team race, AFC North. Once again, AFC North, four-team race. Every team is in it. Am I right? Am I right? Yes. Thank you. But, ever since Bill Belichick said the words, we're on to Cincinnati. We're on to Cincinnati. 
The Bengals have looked terrible. They haven't looked good at all. Baltimore 31, Bengals 20. Jacksonville against Miami. Well, the Jags got their first win of the year. Yay! And the Dolphins beat Chicago at Soldier, at Soldier Field, at which, believe it or not, the Chicago Blackhawks were the last team to win, the last Chicago team to win at Soldier Field. Uh, well, Chicago has, well, Miami has been playing well. Like I've been telling you, the Dolphins are that sneaky team under the radar that is good. And this week they will prove to be good as they will beat Jacksonville at Everbank Field 28-17. to I'll talk about the Bears in a second. Kansas City and St. Louis. Well, if you're a Kansas City fan, you're having a great time right now. World Series is going on. Plus the Chiefs who have been having an up and down year, as I kind of thought. But, you don't know, no, I think the mojo will last in this one. Kansas City and St. Louis fans get their wish. But in football, not baseball. Kansas City 21, St. Louis 17. A little bit closer than people think. New England against Chicago. Well, a tale of two different teams here. New England on the rise, like I thought, and some people were thinking, oh, the Pats are terrible, they're terrible, they're not going to be that good this year. Tom Brady and Bill Belichick, come on, people. You have Brady and Belichick on their side. What can go wrong? As for Chicago, they played well on the road, but Foxborough is a different place to play in. New England 31, Chicago 24. Jets and Buffalo, people are high on the Buffalo Bills right now in this game, but I don't see why. Because the Jets played their hearts out in Foxborough. They, I'll say it, they should have beaten the Pats. <laughs> they made some unforced errors and New England capitalized on them. Now if they don't make those unforced errors... They can and will beat Buffalo with Percy Harvin, 24-20. Tampa Bay against Minnesota. Well, if you're watching this game, ouch. <laughs> Vikings having a heartbreaker against the Bills in Tampa. Looking like Tampa. People are picking Tampa in this one, but I don't see why they are. Minnesota 27, Tampa 13. Tennessee against Houston. The, the, uh, the Texans looked good against Pittsburgh until the second half. <laughs> they, were, they were a couple of plays away from winning in Pittsburgh on Monday night, which no team has done since 1991. And the Titans, well... They just look like the Titans again under Ken Wisenhunt, sadly. Houston 28, Tennessee 17. Arizona and Philadelphia. Possible wild card matchup. You hear this. Wild card matchup in the playoffs. Arizona, Philadelphia. In Arizona. I'm going to call it right now. Arizona 28, Philly 24 in round one. Cleveland against Oakland. Well... The Browns looked like the Browns last week. That's why they're the Browns. And the Raiders have a lot of issues. Although this is probably Oakland's best chance to win a game this year, I don't see it happening. Cleveland 20, Oakland, my once a week, once a week pick below 10 points, Oakland 7. Pittsburgh against Indy. Pittsburgh looked good against Houston, but Indianapolis is a better team than Houston. Colts 31, Pittsburgh 24. Sunday night game, New Orleans against Green Bay. This one I had to flip a coin on. Because the Saints are playing in the Superdome. If this were Lambeau, I'd say Packers. But because of the Superdome, I'm saying Saints. Had to change this one. 27-24 in favor of the Saints. 
Dallas against Washington, I'll book them Cowboys. Cowboys 24, Washington 14, Dallas gets to 7 and 1. Pretty straightforward and easy picks this week. Unfortunately, Cole could not make it, so I was able to do this in one segment. Hope you enjoy. We'll see you next week.